today's lesson, we're going to learn three new intervals, and we're going to learn the fingering for the F and G scale. We've learned five scales so far, the C scale, the F scale, the G scale, the B flat, and the D. And today, uh, we're going to go and learn the fingering for the F and the G scales, and also two new intervals. So we're going to start with our C note again. All right, again, two black notes here, half step down to the C note, and we're going to learn first the fourth interval, the perfect fourth it's called. One, two, three, four, five half steps. Okay, so from here, not including the first note, you're saying one, two, three, four, five half steps brings you up a perfect fourth. Now remember, these intervals are designed to find your place in a scale or a chord. Okay, so uh, that's a fourth. And um, one, two, three, four, five, six is a sharp fourth. It can also be thought of as a flat fifth. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is a fifth, or a perfect fifth. Okay, so um, fourth, fifth, the note in between can either be thought of as a sharpening or a raising of the fourth, or a flattening or a lowering of the fifth. So that's why it's either called a flat fifth or sharp fourth. That'll matter in context, so don't worry about that for now. Let's go over that again. One, two, three, four, five half steps brings you to a perfect fourth. One, two, three, four, five, six half steps brings you to a sharp fourth or a flat fifth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven half steps brings you to a perfect fifth. Now, there's an inverse relationship with the fourths and the fifths, right? If I go one, two, three, four, five, up to a perfect fourth, all right, and I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, down to a perfect fifth, you notice that they're the same note. They're both F. Okay, so up a fourth and down a fifth bring you to the same place, or the same note, I should say. Inversely, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up to a perfect fifth, and one, two, three, four, five, down to a perfect fourth, brings you to the same note. All right. And one, two, three, four, five, six, brings you to that sharp, that sharp fourth. One, two, three, four, five, six brings you to the sharp fourth. Right? That sharp fourth is exactly in the middle of an octave. All right? So it's six notes up, six notes down. All right. So put that in your back pocket for now. And we're going to move on. And we're going to look at the fingering for the F major scale. So here's your F. Right? Three black notes here. Down one half step to an F note. I'm going to start with the first finger. Remember, one, two, three, four, five from the thumb out. One, two, three, four for the first four notes. You're going to have to swing that hand under, right? Get the wrist out of the way and swing that thumb under. And then you're going to play one, two, three, four again. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Lift up the hand and swing the wrist out to the side to get it out of the way. The thumb comes under, one, two, three, four. And again, endeavor to make it as smooth as possible. And then down, it's the same fingering. One, two, three, I'm sorry, four, three, two, one. And then bring that fourth finger over the top, swinging the wrist out of the way again. Four, three, two, one. Okay, that's the F scale. G scale is one note up. Again, three black notes. One half step up from the lower note, one half step down from the middle note. Okay, the fingering here is the same as the major, as a C major scale. One, two, three, swing the thumb out of the way, thumb over to the other side rather. One, two, three, four, five. Now, your fingers can't be too far back on the keys. They should be up a little bit. And that becomes important when you have to play a black note because you obviously have to reach it. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So you might have to reach up a little bit for that, raise the wrist to get to that note. Um, keep everything loose. You know, don't worry too much about what you're doing for right now. And then down is five, four, three, two, one. Swing that middle finger over, three, two, one. So again, same fingering as the C scale, but you're just gonna have to reach a little bit for that uh, that second to last note. So one more time, one, two, three. Swing the thumb under, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Swing the middle finger, the third finger over. Three, two, one. There you go. Okay. See you in the next lesson.